One thing I have to do quite often is take artwork and recolor it. Meaning I look at all these little birds and if I didn't build this right, maybe using symbols or different things like that or graphic styles, I need to go in and edit the colors, but it's gonna be really rough because I gotta go select each shape and kind of change the color, right? Well, there are faster ways to be able to do things like this and this may work for some art you're working on, like a logo for instance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the birds without selecting like the yellow in the background. So I'm gonna select a few things here first and I'm gonna hide them. So object hide selection. You're gonna see there's a shortcut there to get to that. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the leaves and hide them too. So I'm gonna select the dark green of the leaf here and in the control panel we can say, let's select the same fill color. There we go. Now I'm gonna use that shortcut, command three or control three to hide those. And then I'll do the same thing to this. Grab the little light colored leaf now I can just click on select similar objects. Should select all the fill color. Now unfortunately, it's gonna grab part of the toucan bill here. So I'm gonna try and deselect that one by shift clicking on it. And then I'm gonna hide. You can also just lock this stuff, that's fine. Locking is command two or control two. Okay, there we go, now we got it all. Now I can select all, command A or control A, and I can recolor it. How do I recolor this? Well, if we're using swatches that are you know, able to be controlled uh, by the swatch itself using what's called a global swatch, which I didn't do in this case, this could be pretty easy. You just go edit the color itself. But if I'm coming in here and I just have a bunch of color assigned, what we can do is we can come up to the top in the control panel and you'll see what's called recolor artwork. You can either click on the button here or come up under edit, edit colors, recolor artwork, You'll also find this if you go over to the right over here and go to the color guide panel, we can see kind of the same thing, edit or apply colors. Now I'm gonna click on the button up here just to start it out here. So click recolor artwork and you're gonna open up this massive dialog box. It's gonna be hard to see your artwork and to see the, what's in the dialog when you're working. So you're gonna kind of have to move things around a bit. You can, if you want to, click on this arrow to the right, which is called high group storage and you can kind of make it a little bit smaller if you want to. The idea here, and I'm not gonna go through every feature of this dialog box, the idea here is that it's gonna capture all the color from the artwork, Pantone, RGB, CMYK, whatever it happens to be, and it's also gonna allow you to map it to a new color. So we could come over and say, hey, here's this orangey red right here, and if I wanna find out where that orangey red is out there, if you can't find it, there's also a little thing down here that says click on colors above to find them. You can then click on the color bar and say, oh, there it is, okay, I can kind of see where it is. Now you can go in and turn that off. Double click on the color or click on the arrow to the right and what we can do is we can go and change the color. I can say, hey, let's try a blue, something like that. Click okay and you'll see what it does. It remaps the color, say, don't use this orange but use the blue where that was used in place. Now we can go through and just start to edit all our colors. What I love about this is that we can also use color groups on the right here and if you click on a color group, for instance, the grays, it will automatically map all the colors to the right tint of gray or black or white, whatever you wanna call it. You'll actually see that there were 13 colors to start with, but there aren't that many gray levels there or gray colors. So what it does is it takes multiple colors like these two colors here and merges them into one with just a different tint. You can, if you want to, go out and then edit these colors. So I can click on this color here, for instance, up top, come down here to HSB and say, hey, let's make it a little brighter. Let's change the saturation, crank the saturation all the way down, change the hue, we can do different things. We can also, if we want to, merge colors. Let's suppose that I want all three of these, this orangey red, the orange and the brown to be this dark color. You can just drag these together and merge them together and they will all be mapped to that one color with a different tint perhaps. Now it's gonna create different tints based on the original color. If you notice this little color box here, if you click on the arrow to the right, you'll see we can actually make it an exact match of the color, which is kind of cool. It'll make them all the same exact color. It doesn't even matter what the original tint of the color was. Or we can preserve the tint or scale them if we want to. Preserve means exactly the way it was. Scale means scale it within the realm of colors we have now. The other thing I love about this recolor is the fact that we could go in and say, I want to map all these colors to just one color. So I choose one, for instance. We can say, okay, map it to a gray, that's awesome. You can double click here, go out to color swatches and even map it to something like a different swatch we have. We can go to color models if we want to. 
We can go to Pantone colors. There's a lot of things we can do here. If I want to go to something like a Pantone color, I'll click cancel here. Come down here, you can actually choose the color group that it comes from. And we can say color book, Pantone solid coated, and be able to choose from there. And that way we can go up and edit the new color if we want to and choose from a Pantone. I can say, all right, let's pick it from that guy right there. Click OK. We've now mapped it all to a single Pantone color complete with tints. If you want to take it further, and I'm getting a little crazy here. And by the way, I just want to tell you, you're going to screw this up. You're going to try something and be like, oh, no, I didn't want that. There is no magic button to hold down for reset or undo. A lot of people will cancel and start again, but you can also do this. You can come up to the top and click on this little eyedropper. It says get colors from selected art and kind of restart if you want. We can also go over to the edit area here and you're going to see all the different colors we have in the art mapped to this color wheel. You can go out and edit each one independently if you want to and you'll see a change out there. Look at the toucan bill. You can also link them all together. There's a million things we can do here and they'll all change together. It's harmony colors. We can change them independently down here. Whichever one is selected will show the values down here. You can change the values to CMYK, RGB, lab, etc. You can change the overall brightness if you want, lighter, darker. There's a million things we can do. I love this. And we can go in and do things like, let's say, color bars instead. And you can go to each color bar and even double click on one of those or click on the little icon and pick a different color here. There's just a million ways to work in here. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to go through everything. I just wanted to bring this to your attention and say that this is an awesome way to be able to recolor artwork if you wanted to go that route.